So this is a free week and we're all allowed to talk about whatever we want to talk about. So I thought that I would talk about my birthday, which was last Tuesday, the day after my sob fest in front of the camera. Um, a while ago, probably about a month, maybe even two months ago, someone left a message on my Tumblr and it was all about turning 30, so I thought I would answer his question, his or her. I have a feeling I know who it is, but anyway, this is what he wrote to me. 30 years. How do you feel about that? Childhood done, young adult years done, and now fairly large part of your life finished, unrecoverable. Has your life been what you imagined it would be? Have the last 30 years been wasted or utilised to the max? How do I feel about turning 30? Um... It was hard turning 29, but it wasn't actually surprisingly all that hard turning 30. Everyone that I've talked to um, who, have, who has turned 30 has talked about how their 30s have been the best years of their life. They um, are you know, their own person at, you know, when they turn 30, they don't answer to anyone but, the, but themselves. They um, are responsible for themselves, you know. And even the gorgeous Helen Mirren once said that, um, you know, the 30s were just the highlight of her life, you know. They were the beginning of just being the best person that she could be and so ever since I watched that interview that she did on Conan O'Brien um, a couple years ago I was enthralled and just so I guess a bit excited about turning 30 and it really helped me get through my 29th year of life because that was a tough one not for any reason but the fact that I was freaking out about turning 30 which is just so stupid and even though as you say um, a fairly large part of my life has finished I guess I feel like it was the worst part you know things can only get better from here on um, high school and growing up as you as you know from my last video um, was was painful at times and and even though, sure, there, you know, at this age, I'm still going to have painful moments. I feel like I'm much more stronger and much more um, prepared and able to deal with the things that come at me. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of happy, and I don't think that I would ever, I would ever change anything. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to relive any part of my first 29 years of. Well, there's one thing probably would have liked to have not met my my ex but you know I'm sure that had there was a reason for that too has my life uh been what I imagined it would be um no when I was you know say 23 when I first got my lap band especially I honestly thought that by 25 I would be thin um which of course was going to make me so happy and I was going to meet this really hot guy and we were going to have hot, thin children um, and I would be hot, thin and rich and, um, you know, just stupid things like that that just didn't matter, you know. Am I what I wanted to be in terms of occupation, a career? No, I thought I was going to be some famous musician at this age, um, which didn't happen, but... Um, that's okay because I quickly put that aside and moved on to something else which is fashion you know I think that my life I don't know if it's what I imagined it would be but I think it is the life that it should be it is how it should be you know does that make sense I'm I felt like that whole little segment there was just a total gigantic rant have the last 30 years been wasted or utilized to the max so I think that that um it's not about how you live it, but how you end up. I know that sounds really dumb, but when I look back on my life, when I look back on the 30 years that I've been here, um, there are things that I'm not happy with, but I'm happy with who I am now, and I think that's what counts, you know? That's my dad speaking. He's visiting at the moment. I guess the thing is I'm, I'm pretty proud of who I've become, and there are very few things in my life that I, I would want to change. Um, that's maybe the things I would want to change. That can be a different, a different, um, a different vlog. So yes, 
Am I happy about turning 30? I am. Because, you know, I think I had a real trouble, I guess, um, figuring out who I was, where I stood in the world, where I stood in my family. And um, I'm kind of happy, I guess, that now I'm me, you know? And I must admit, you know, I, I really do like me.